Hello guys and welcome to this tutorial on writing files. So the first thing you need to do to be able to write a file is you first need to open the file. So we use sysopen. So sysopen takes a pointer to the file name as the first argument. As you can see the first argument this is a zero terminated string so it points to the file name and that file name is a zero terminated string. The second argument are the flags. This is basically how you want to open the file. Then the third argument is the file mode, being the 4-bit octal number that we learned from earlier. So here are some of the flags. Um, you got your read-only flag, so that's when you want to read the file. You open it read-only. You got write-only. If you want to open a file that you plan to read and write, you use read-write. There's create to use if the file doesn't exist. You can use create to create the file. Um, you can um, this will append the file these are the most important ones and as you can see all the values are um, a powers of two so this is uh, two to the zero two to the one two to the six two to the ten etc so all the values are powers of two that means if you want to combine flags you just gotta add them together so these are the main two flags we're going to be using, the write only, because we're going to write a file, and create, because you can't write to a file that doesn't exist. So if it doesn't exist, use the create flag, which will create it. Here's the code to open a file with the create and write flag. The create flag creates the file if it does not exist. So I load into rex sysopen. This is, the value of this is 2, so let me go to this slide. So the, uh, Move into REX sysopen. This is the ID of the system call, specifically the ID for sysopen. This is two, but I have an include file that defines all these um, system calls and the flags, so I don't need to actually write the value two. Um, you can look in the description for that include file. So um, then I move into RDI. This is the pointer to the file name. This is a zero terminated string, remember that? Then um, I want the create and write flag, so I use O create plus um, O write only, and then my permissions are just zero six four four. And the O right here tells NASM this is an octal value. If you don't put that, it'll store it as a uh, decimal value, and that will be wrong and it'll mess up the permissions. So you need that O at the end of the zero six four four. This system call returns the file descriptor of the file opened within the RAX register. If there is an error, that error is returned in the RAX register. So syswrite. This system call we can use to write to a text file. It is used exactly like how we would use it in the Hello World video to display text on the screen. The only difference is that the first argument is changed to the file descriptor returned from sysopen. So, remember how down here for the file descriptor we'd use the standard output? Well, now we would use the file descriptor we got from the um, sysopen system call. So, here's the code to write to a text file that we just opened. So, the file descriptor comes from the REX register. So, I start with move RDI, move into RDI REX. Um, this assumes sysopen was successful. This is the ID of the system call, specifically the ID for syswrite, so move into REX syswrite. Syswrite is equal to 1. Um, like I said before, this comes, the reason I can just write sys underscore write, because it comes from an include file. Um, a pointer to the text which will be written to the file. So this is a pointer to the text. Um, just like the hello world, we RSI hub the pointer to the hello world string. This holds the pointer to whatever text we want to write. And then RDX, remember this is the length, how much text we want to write. So I'm saying write 17 bytes. Sysclose only takes the file descriptor as its only argument. So sysclose is pretty simple. You just need the file descriptor again um, to get sysclose to work. So here's a code to close an open file. So move into REX is close, and then I pop RDI. So this is the ID of the system call, specifically system close, which is equal to three. Um, 
This is the file descriptor of the file to close. It assumes it is on the top of the stack. So if the file descriptor is on the top of the stack, you can just pop RDI to get the file descriptor into RDI. So here's the code to write a file. I have it on the paste bin here. So here I've defined my um, text file, my file.txt, comma zero. My text is here, some text. This is 17 characters long, and as you can see, I put a zero at the end of this because it's a zero terminated string. And this is the include file. I'll put that in the description. So as you can see, this line opens the file, this line writes to the file, and this line closes the file. And as you can see, after I get the file descriptor from open file, I push it onto the stack, and so down here I can pop it off the stack and use it again. And then we just call exit, which exit is just um, a macro I defined for exiting the program.